Hey everyone, I'm Visa, this is me, and uh, this is going to be a kind of walkthrough of how I use Scapel app. So Scapel, so this is Scapel, and it's literally the simplest kind of visual note-taking tool I can think of, and it says it right here, which is that you click anywhere, you write whatever you like, and you have a note, and then you can make another note with something else and then you can connect them and you can make more notes you can copy and paste you know you can do whatever you like you can connect it you can connect things with arrows uh, you can move stuff around you can do more and more things All right you get it so uh, I'll run you through some examples of scapel maps I've made in the past so um, I'm kind of so people always ask me about my header image on Twitter so on on my like you know you get to make a header image and I put a map of my meme space which is just a way a fancy way of saying all of the things that I talk about all the time and how that started was this so I, I saw someone else's map of something else entirely and I just liked the idea of a map of some kind and so I decided to get started just listing out things that I cared about, right? And so, like, you can, you know, make friends, have fun, right? Be kind. And, and you can just do that. And then you can subsequently edit things with more detail. You can bolt some parts. It's the best way to make friends, you know, and then you can change a connection to an arrow and you can just move stuff around it's, it's it's how i like to think and i find it very useful for thinking out loud so i can so i start this way and i start thinking of what else goes in here right it's a very generative come up with what you want whatever you like thing and so yeah i kept at it added more things some stuff i felt like putting you can you can change colors and you can have styles so i felt like making some things green and then you know, you can make things bigger, you can command plus to make it bigger. And yeah, you can you can just keep do it. You can recreate, copy paste, uh, develop your taste. Right. And yeah, so I just I kept doing that and people really liked it. People were like, Oh, you know, this is the kind of thing that looks fun and interesting. Let me show you the whole map. Yeah. You can go and look it up or I can link to it. But the idea here is simply that you can start with something that looks like this and you can end with something that looks like this, which serves a purpose for me, which is that I can see how everything's connected. But I mean, you might say that, you know, this is kind of messy. What's the point? Um, to me, it's kind of self-evident, but I'll run you through more examples of what you can do. So that was my meme space scapel, uh, start and end. And so here's, an, here's another one that's maybe more interesting. This was me trying to write my novel from memory. So I, I, I have a novel that's a draft and I wanted to rewrite it from scratch. And so this was like chapter one is about two characters meeting. Chapter two is about the it's a, the, the novel is about a band and so you know two guys form a band they meet the band and i just kind of list out all the things that happen like so i list out the band wants to do this uh you know the, the band wants to do that this thing happens bad good things happen bad things happen right and then i i list the things in colors um you know so bad things in red good things in green i list out other random things that come to mind you know just one of the characters is a side plot with his mom and you know i i know that the book is the book is fundamentally about internal conflicts between characters and so i wanted to keep track of that this is this is just how i started and then i can show you how it elaborated this is this is what's next so this is the same thing right i just move the things around can you see it so like here's here's the first one Here's how I started. Like one is here, two is here. I don't know what three is yet. And then subsequently I can rearrange the thing. So here I've rearranged all the notes, all the main chapter headings 
in one, two, three, four, five, which I can manually enter. And I know there's a conflict point here. I know there's another conflict point here. And so I can plot out my entire novel. Like, so with each chapter, the summary of each chapter, and then I can link notes to things that I care about and things that I want to explore further. And it's, I can move any of those things around however I like. What else? Um, let's move on to the next thing. Progress in the above. Artist, yeah. So this is my, this is a thread I have about where I'm trying to figure out. Uh, I, j I was just curious about what artists influenced other artists. And so I started out just putting down a list of people. Like literally, you know, David Bowie, Prince, Jimi Hendrix, Bob Dylan. People who I, I was curious about. And then what I would do is I would Google for you know, Beyonce quote about Prince, right? Or I'll search Beyonce influencers and then I would see that in the list of Beyonce influencers, there's, uh, she mentions Prince or, or someone else mentions Prince. And then I look for the specific quote that Beyonce has about Prince and then I put it next to her name and I connect it to Prince. And then I move on. I start adding quotes for every person in reference to someone else, you know? So Dylan said he wanted to join Little Richard. So here's Little Richard. Hendrix said Dylan turned him on, so Hendrix to Dylan. And so I just keep adding these connections until I have like this big map. All right? And, I don't, and and the point of this is really in my case, first of all, it's it's information that I want to have. I want to be able to know that I can click on this scalpel map and find uh, you know, what artists are influencing other artists. And then it you know it 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 just be, it keeps it can grow it's like a like the digital garden kind of thing where i can keep adding new things to it i can move stuff around i don't have to redo the whole map just to add something else and yeah it ex so you, this is basically impossible to read from this screenshot but you know i i've i've abandoned this for now but i know that it's something i'm likely to want to come back to and so as long as that's happening i'm happy to have one of these things lying around. What else? Um, artist map, yeah, map of my blog. Right, so this was this was fascinating. This was uh, when I was trying to redo my blog. 